This video is going to explain how to use something called lossless scaling to make your Wuthering Waves game stop lagging and stuttering all over the place. There is something that you need to do in your game first. How I have mine set up, I have mine set on very low graphics because I don't actually see a difference in running it on like, you know, low or medium. But the only true requirement here is that you need to have the screen mode in windowed mode. And then on resolution, just match it to your screen resolution. And these are the rest of my settings. I'll just scroll through them slowly. Okay. So now that you have that set up, watch my FPS counter in the bottom right hand side of the screen. Right now it's at 60 FPS, which is pretty much what the game can push right now. But you can use this application on Steam. This is not a free application. It's called Lossless Scaling. Pretty much, I think what this does, like, I'm actually not fully sure how to explain this. I just know that it works and it fixed my lagging and stuttering. So hopefully this might work for you too. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I know my screen disappeared there for a second because I am running mine as admin. But pretty much how you want to go ahead and set this up. You want to keep your scaling type off. You want to keep scaling mode on auto and full screen. On your frame generation, do LSFG 2.1 under mode X2. And this, you can play with this and figure out what's what works for you. You can either turn on or off performance, depending on your GPU. If you are on an RTX 2060 and lower, I recommend having this on. And then you turn on vertical sync on max refresh rate. And if you want to see the draw FPS, it will show up in the top left hand side of your screen, but it won't actually capture through OBS. But I can see it, but you guys won't be able to. I don't understand why. And under capture, keep it on DXGI and everything else. Just leave it all the way it is. So how this works, when I click on the scale button up here, it's going to look for an application that you click on so it can take effect on that specific application. When I click on this, it'll count down from five seconds. And during that time, you need to click on your game so it can capture it and it can do its thing. You will know that it worked by there being a slight restart of your game screen. So I'm going to show what that looks like now. And now, look at the bottom right hand side of my screen. My game is now running in 120 FPS mode. If this video has helped you, please feel free to like or subscribe. Or, you know, even if you don't want to do that, just share this with somebody that's having these types of issues so it can hopefully fix their problem. Because I know that this game just released and a lot of people are having lagging and stuttering issues even on mid to high range PCs. This is the best method that I found to fix this because I am running an i5 12600K, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and an RTX 2060 Super and I am still getting lagging and stuttering unless I do this. So, anyways, like I said before, if this video has helped you, please feel free to like or subscribe, share it with somebody who's having a similar issue, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Y'all have a good day.